Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Axiom Verge. I'm Nye. Uh, this game's kind of unsettling. Like the weird, the weird howling wind sound of this area that I'm in right now. This giant head. I can't tell if it reminds me of like a woman's head or a baby's head, but it, it, it's a little bit of a, of that feel. And then these things just screaming at me and jumping at me. The fact that uh, enemies hit by my gun go staticky. Like there's a. Or did these things not aggro me? Oh nope, they very much aggro me. That's definitely an item there. Not one that I can access, though. Now, what's interesting is this guy is actually active. Oh, hello. What's also weird is that these are, you know, computer terminals, seats. Like, there is... There's a, uh, uh, there's some definite world building going on. Look at all of these bodies. I mean, there's there. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they are. Uh, someone is making a statement, and I'm not sure what it is. I guess the next room is going to be an even larger pile of bodies. This also feels like like boss coming up. Now this feels a lot more like area one here. Oh, damn. And that feels like that sounds like breathing, uh, which I am. Um, Believe me, none too happy to report. Oh, God. Got all kinds of stuff showing up. Oh, well. As an indication of a boss, I think. So this is a save point? Yeah. Okay, so, we, so we're so we we're at boss mode. Um, Now, the last boss gave me the drills. The question is, what is this boss going to give me? And also, are we even ready to fight it? Ooh. Oh crap, an even bigger one. Demon. Look, I mean no harm, please, can we just talk it out? Talk. Yeah, okay. So my name is Trace, and I have no idea how I got here, but... Demon, Athedo say, kill. Have it your way, then. Okay, uh... That is not... Okay, so... None of those are safe. Or, okay, back there is the only... Oh, I don't want to be down there. Okay, so back there is the only hittable point. Okay, I can deal with that. Uh, okay, I have to jump over that. You can't duck those. Oh, you can duck those. It just didn't want to let me. Okay, it seems to be getting redder the more I shoot it. So I'm assuming it's getting pretty close to dead, right? I mean, I know we've only been fighting it for a few seconds here, but... Oh, well, yep. Okay. Significantly easier than the first boss, I think. Give me all of my... All of my health. Okay. Significantly easier than the first boss. Okay. So, do I... Do I get a prize for that, maybe? Oh, we are... Going in a roundabout way. Okay, we did get a prize. 
What is this? Double jump already? Address Disruptor. Corrupts or decorrupts weaker blocks and enemies. Night. Oh, I see. Oh, do I have to sit here for a while? Oh, I don't... Oh, okay. It also said enemies, though. Even unlocked hack. I stand. I can stand on these. Okay. I'm just kind of. Oh, there we go. That is phenomenally weird. It's a very weird thing to give to the player. Actually, let me just check real quick. What is... What does... Naturally. Okay. You also have that new thing on the right-hand side that pops up anytime I start using this. I wonder what that actually means. I want to see what... Is this just the... the... Yeah, okay. That's just a show that I have the door. Okay. So that's exit only. Okay. So what happens if I corrupt this? It still hurts me. I mean, that is still harmful. Okay, what is this? An extra health fragment? Health node. So, permanent health upgrades. So, what does this do now? It creates health. And no longer harms me. That's super interesting. Okay. Oh. It's still corrupted when I come back, which is also super interesting. Oh. So, encrupting these causes them to go nuts, and they start breaking environmental blocks. Is that going to go down now? No, that's about as much as there seems to be down there. Oh, but I could... Okay, let's let's go look to the right first before I continue moving in that direction. What is this? Okay. What does this do now? Okay, that thing's too strong to be corrupted is what I'm what I'm getting out of that. So does this still hurt? Oh, these are all corrupted. Okay, those are definitely hurting me. They all die together. Hmm. 
Oh, hello. I was waiting for something like this. Got a prize. I have no idea what I just got. That one of the notes? That's a note. It looks almost legible, too. Okay, so you can't go through. Okay, let's see what's over here first, and then we'll backtrack. Oh my, never mind, it just keeps going. Um, okay. So a whole new dimension to the game now opens up with that skill. Okay, I want to see what happens when we, um, oh, this repaired itself. That should break open the rest of it, right? And then there's a secret. Okay, I see. Size note. Okay. Okay, so for exploring and touching things, I was given a prize. Okay. Oh, save point. Nice. Can this be corrupted? Hmm, apparently not. Or at least not by the weapon as it is. Maybe in the future. Okay, so if I want to go back up, I would need to do a thing. Okay. Can this be drilled? This cannot. Okay. I'm assuming this is impassable. Nope. So now we know that these enemies break things when they touch things. When they're corrupted. Well, what's interesting is they cannot be uncorrupted. on this? Nope. Jump on that, though. What do we got? Journal page, one of three. It calls itself Zedder. I don't know how I know this, but I do. Strange that such a thing would have language. Stranger still that it would have a personal identity. I am not sure how long I can last. I lose more and more each passing day. Sound is a deafening throb. Sight is a kaleidoscopic fire. Smell and taste open up entire worlds of terror. The worst is touch, a tingling, writhing, itching mass. It is expanding, supplanting. There won't be anything to save when it's done. That is terrifying. I'm, the, the reason I'm... I'm touching a lot of things right now and um, corrupting a lot of things 
is I'm watching the um the pattern in the upper right hand corner and I'm trying to see if it changes uh I'm trying to see if it changes based on how many I've corrupted yeah these guys cannot be corrupted okay they're too strong evidently Long hallway, and this gets me back here. Okay, so that explains where this connecting feature was. Now, what do I have here? Nothing. Okay. Interesting. No blocks here can be corrupted. Okay. Okay. I, uh, occasionally end up reading through, uh, the SCP archives. Um, I, I really enjoy kind of the fascination behind some. I'm not really much for the horror as much as I am for, like, the fascinating stories that comes from it. And there's one particular one about a guy who gets transported into a, you know, side realm that has less reality than, than ours does. Which means that because there's less reality, like, th things do not degrade at the same rate as they normally would. So he ends up, extro like, slowly dying over years and years and years and only slowly degrading. And I, according to the uh, story, because reality is uh, less in this area um, than, uh, than it normally would be, um... This, I guess, has a side effect of um, having... He's, he's slowly disintegrating. But the fact that his lung no longer works, for example, does not actually have any negative side effects for him as a, uh, as a living being. And he's just talking about how his sanity is slowly degrading and his ability to, to walk is... And at the very end, he gets back to our reality, and all you hear, for, all you hear is from uh, another character in the room who sees him as he comes back. And it's, it's, you know, why is there so much blood? Oh my god, is that really so-and-so? You get the impression that it's uh, not so much a human being as it is a pile of, like, writhing flesh or something like that. And uh, I get the uh, I get the same feeling uh, from from this game as I got from that story. Especially, uh, I mean, I was already getting that feeling as I was exploring and again seeing all of these, you know, very fleshy protrusions. So what does that become? Nothing really. Okay, that was interesting. It fell. But as I'm playing through, especially with that um, that description of like you know we have the corruption going on, I'm yeah, I'm I'm sure that we ourselves are not immune to it. And that uh, is likely an issue. So what we're probably seeing in that journal entry is someone else who slowly was corrupted, and we have to get out before uh, before it happens to us. Much more of an existential horror than, uh, you know, the typical, oh god, it's a scary monster. No less terrifying. I guess just kind of the, the imaginings of what could happen if your, if your, if your sight is no longer, uh, trustworthy. If you're, uh, you know... Like I said, taste is 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 an issue. I'm wondering if that is is that a different note than the first one I found? It is. I'm still interested in the save zones. The save rooms are too um 
right. If I kill one, I kill them all, right. I'm still into the same zones are uh, two, um, two things tall. What's the what's the point of this? Oh, I see. I have uh, platforms I have to corrupt. I gotcha. Maybe uncorrupt is the better word in this case. So my my corruption gun is not strong enough to uh, do anything about that. It looks like. Appreciate if you didn't do that. Uh, can't go up there. As far as I can tell, this particular enemy... Does this hurt? No. As far as I can tell, this particular enemy type, when corrupted, does not do anything useful. I wonder. You can definitely... Oop, ah, nope. That sucked. You can definitely climb by jumping on these pink things. So I'm wondering if there's a prize, maybe, for having done so. Not appear to be. Okay, this guy has a thing that I want. How do I get it? Oh, naturally. I have no idea if I'm going the right way or not. What's that do? Power node. Increases weapon and item damage. Okay. Not gonna argue. Going to a completely new zone again. Like the zones seem to come like fast and loot. Oh, holy crap. to slow them down when they're corrupted, but that doesn't seem incredibly... Does this hurt? Yes. Um, doesn't seem incredibly helpful. Not really sure what changes with this thing when it gets corrupted. Possibly nothing. Oh. It's a... Oh, I see. I think it uh, shoots in a slightly different pattern. An easier to dodge pattern. Okay, where am I now? Z. Okay. Well, you're gone now. Cheers. I wonder what that is on the ground there. Right where the red stuff is. Nothing. Okay. Um. I really feel like going over there is a smart idea right now. Save point. Okay. A save point with another exit. I think that might be the first time, second time we've ever seen that. Hasn't been common. Hey folks, we're in Area 3, apparently, which is kind of interesting. Catch you next time.